Hi guys, this is Savita Art. Today I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step on how to create a bathroom wall panel. And today I'm matching it to the bathroom vanity that you can see behind me. Here I'm using my plastic scraper tool to kind of pick up three blobs of paint that I put on cardboard. I'm using metallic paints because I find them to look way better under the epoxy if they're metallic. Here I'm gliding the scraper tool sideways very gently on the foam board to spread the paint around to my liking. This is the way that I'm making the main vein. And you could always create the veins width to where you're liking. You can do it more narrow or more wide. Right here I just added more colors and I kept going around that vein kind of sideways with my spatula tool. This is one of my favorite techniques that we are using here, the two colored roller. And it is simply a paint roller where I spread two different colors on it, about half and half. We are using a gray for the base color and a burnt orange copper color for the other side. After the paint is completely dry, I applied my first coat of epoxy on top and let that dry as well. Here I'm creating my hand-drawn gold vein technique. There are two main reasons why I prefer personally to create my veins after my first coat of epoxy. Reason number one is because the vein on top of the first layer of epoxy, once it's dried, gives it a better three-dimensional look. And the second reason is because it's very easy to clean up a vein if you don't like the way that it turned out with just using paint removal. Here I'm using a damp cotton cloth dipped in a lighter paint color and smudging it about finger width just to create a thicker to thinner, lighter colored vein. I'm also dabbing that vein and blending it a little into the rest of the countertop for a less man-made look. Here I start hand painting a new vein next to my other vein for a more natural and dimensional look. Lastly, after I finished my hand painted veins, I added my second and final coat of epoxy and here's the finished vanity look. And the shower panel. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment any questions you may have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do have many, many more videos coming soon.